Hello and welcome to Kedrick Builds. We're back with another episode of Planet Crafter and uh, since last episode I did go ahead and build a few more of these butterfly farms. We had a few of these 500% uh, I believe. Yep, butterflies. And so we've got, uh, what is this, a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them out here because that's how many butterflies we ended up with and uh, that's working out really well for us. Uh, we did upgrade it to get a few more of these gas extractors as well. We've been needing a lot of methane to keep uh, cranking out the fertilizers. So we're going to keep this going here. Oh, we're getting uh, insects inside now. we got to watch the doors here when we're coming in and out, apparently. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stack this stuff up. Let's see. Uh, I think I've created now because we've got so much of these other materials coming in. We've got separate containers for each of them. There we go. And if we pop on up here, I did unlock one more uh, tech here in the plants section. We got the tree seed she rocks, which is a 450 oxygen multiplier. And if we come up here and look at this, and this requires a tier two mutagen to make, but it's so much better than uh, any of these other ones that we've got, unfortunately. In order to make tier 2 mutagen, we need to get a, a little bit more down the insects tree here. we got to get to 50 tons, which we are ticking towards with our insects, but we're not quite there yet. However, we did find one tier 2 mutagen when we were exploring uh, in a chest somewhere. I don't remember exactly where we picked this up, but I have gone ahead and made one of these. So we're at 450%, and we're going to find one of our... Uh, tree things here that we put something lower than that into and uh, swap this out um, we have put a few of the tree spreaders over in the desert now um, that's one of our 400 percenters well, let me just uh, fly over here we'll find one real quick here there we go this is a 175 so i'm going to swap that out here and we're going to get uh, that one going that should be giving us a huge oxygen boost now 38.25 ppt which is pretty good. If we compare that to one of these, that was only 34. So as you can see, we're doing all right here now. And we've got a tree spreader down here. We've got tree spreaders up on the two hills here as well. And it looks like I did remember to put seeds in both of those. So we're all good to go. I'm gonna take these seeds that I just pulled out back up into the base and we're gonna deconstruct that because it's got some useful materials. You can see here we get the uh, mutagen back from uh, deconstructing those, which is very useful for us. And oh, we've got two more 500% butterflies here. So we should probably uh, grab those while we're here. And we're going to take those down and we'll have to make some more of these uh, butterfly garden deals. Let me see butterfly farms. We need tier two fertilizer, zeolite and bioplastic nuggets. I think I'm actually out of bioplastic nuggets. What does that take to make? Looks like mushroom, silicon, and water. We've got all of that. I'm gonna let that thing go ahead and uh, crank through a little bit. And I'm gonna need some tier two fertilizers as well. Not a problem. All right, so I've got uh, most of the components. I need uh, a couple more bee larva and one more bioplastic nugget to get all the way to where I wanna be. And so I'm going to actually deconstruct one of these. Uh, because it's going to give me a bioplastic nugget and a bee. And then we just need two more bees to kind of keep things going. So I think this is going to be a nice trade off here for us. So we'll go ahead and grab this and stick a butterfly in it. And then we just need... Oh, I'm getting all my stuff mixed up here. We were uh, building an outdoor farm with the bees, uh, so we need uh, we need to put this outdoor farm down with the two bees that we've got now. So we'll do that and get the mushrooms growing. And the mushrooms were uh, helping me make something else, but I think I acquired the something else to make the or the bioplastic nugget that I needed uh, already. So all I need is a fertilizer at tier two. And look at that, we just hit our fusion cell. That's exciting. Uh, fusion cell is going to allow us to uh, go and open stuff up on the ships, which I have been anxious to do. Uh, what did I just click on? I have no idea here. 
We're going to put down a, another uh, butterfly there, though. We're doing good, doing good. I'm going to bring enough stuff with me to uh, build a teleporter. So we've got that all figured out. And I'm just going to grab the gases out of here while I'm thinking of it so that we can uh, continue to have some supplies when the time comes. So let's go see if we can figure out what it's going to take to make one of these fusion energy cells. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this pulsar quartz stuff is uh, getting used up fast. I'm going to grab three of those. I'm going to grab a couple of these, one of these. I feel like I'm still missing a component. No, we got everything. And just to double check, uh, I did need one more osmium, and that was worth an achievement called Fusion Energy. So I'm going to take this Fusion Energy cell, and we're going to go use it up in the ship over here. Did I remember to plant my mushrooms? I did. Perfect. Well, let's go up here. I know there was one of these uh, Fusion Energy things in this ship. This will be a great opportunity for us to just uh, go and try this out. We probably need to come harvest some algae again soon. One of these days, what I need to do is uh, figure out if we're going to be able to set up an auto crafter by the algae and craft our fertilizer over there automatically. It'd be awesome if we could pull the water and the uh, algae right out of the ground and have uh, fertilizer being made on demand there. That would be a lot easier than what we've been doing, which is all this manual collecting of it. So I'm going to have to uh, give that a shot here soon. And you'd think with how many times I came up here in the early game, I would remember my way around this ship, but apparently we're going to make all the wrong turns on our way back here. We've even got a chest. We could use a little bit of extra iron here. And I should keep the deconstructor open just in case I find something else to deconstruct. And all right. Let's try this deal. If I put this in here, what happens? Not a whole lot. Oh, there we go. Now it's locked in here. Oh, we've got some emergency lighting now at least. That's kind of cool. And it looks like we opened up the door here. So I can deconstruct some things and uh, get into more parts of the ship. Ooh, and now we're going to get advanced chests uh, because it's later in the game. All kinds of good stuff back here. I'll take it. And we're probably going to need to go empty our inventory here a little bit uh, sooner than I expected. That's all right. We'll go ahead and grab the things that need to be salvaged. And oh, look at this. Ooh, mutagen tier two. Don't mind if I do. Uh, but we definitely need there's some more volness. That'll be good. Mutagen tier two. All right. So let's uh, grab what we can here. Mutagen tier two. That all looks good. The rest of this is kind of mundane things that we can always come back in for at a later date. But uh, that man, that was a good haul so far. Um, and that door doesn't go anywhere. I'm just curious. Oh, there's more doors. All right, well, we're going to have lots of exploring to do in here once we uh, get a little bit more inventory room. Um, I suppose I did bring the teleporter with us. Can I build a teleporter in the ship? Oh, I can. Oh, no. We don't have enough power to run the teleporter. All right, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to go make some uh, upgrades in the base here real quick and use some of these uh, newfound materials and build another power reactor. That way we can have the teleporter and just jump back and forth between the base while we empty out the uh, ship. And I think that's going to be a lot quicker than uh, having to fly down the hill here every time. All right, so since we got uh, some more mutagen tier 2 out of that chest, we might as well start making another one of... Uh, these super uh, tree plants so that we can uh, keep our oxygen moving up. We do have some stuff to unlock in the oxygen tree still here. And we're just going to finish uh, clearing things out here. I do need to whoops, hang on to the stuff for the uh, teleporter here. Three, one and one. 
All right, let's try this again. I'm going to start right here in the entryway. We'll get uh, this one in. I'm going to call it a ship. And that frees up a ton of inventory space here. Looks like I had one extra zeolite. Oh, well. Looks like we've got some technical debris back here and one more chest. All oh, kinds of this pulsar quartz. I'm loving it. Uh, we're just going to be completionists about it. Get all the resources out of here so I don't have to... Uh, come back later and there was just a couple of things left down here if i recall not gonna be able to get it all in the first haul here so i'll take what i can Ooh, a tree seed interesting i'll be able to deconstruct that if nothing else all right we've got one more haul left in here so let's test our um theory with the uh whatchamajigger if i can find my way back to it there we are Base command. All right, as long as we're back here, we started up a, another one of these uh, better oxygen trees, and we're gonna take this one out and find a uh, tree spreader to replace. We gotta keep things efficient here. I want uh, all the bonuses. So there's a 175, that's now a 450. And that should do uh, good things for us. And I'm just going to keep dropping these back in the base. I'll worry about recycling and uh, upgrading everything else here in a bit. Um, I've got a couple of these now that we can uh, recycle out. And then I think I've got a Volnus flower here somewhere that we'd found. So I'm going to put that in with my tree bark so that I remember to uh, make a 400 again here at some point after we're uh, done cooking the one that we've got. And I've almost forgot we've got a shortcut to get back there. Look at this, so quick and easy. Oh, and we've got all of these that we couldn't uh, deconstruct the first time we were here. I should uh, remember to grab that for sure. I'm uh, almost positive all these circuit boards are going to come in handy once we start uh, trying to do things like uh, make drones. So I'm hanging on to them, collecting them, and when we get to that stage of the game, hopefully we'll be able to progress pretty quickly and get some cool stuff unlocked. Now, it looks like I've got everything here. I wanna just double check. Yeah, this cannot be removed. So that's a uh, sunk cost on uh, some of the uh, pulsar quartz there. I feel like we didn't get as much pulsar quartz back as we spent, but uh, alas, it is what it is. And I think we're all done here now. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure to take our constructor with us, or our teleporter, I should say. And uh, we're going to get uh, back over to the base now, get unloaded, and we're going to go, uh, I don't know, we're going to go figure out what comes next. That uh, terraformation index is just skyrocketing up, though. We're already at uh, 73, essentially, and it's uh, moving pretty quick. So uh, I can't wait to see what else we've got for unlocks. I hadn't been paying that much attention. I didn't expect it to be going this fast. And actually, before we go to the base here, I'm going to build this platform out here. We're going to try and build a uh, auto crafter and see if it'll automatically pull out of the water and the algae here to create uh, um, our fertilizers for us. So I'm just uh, curious, what do I need for an auto crafter? I need uh, two osmium and a super alloy rod. We're gonna bring that back out here with us as well. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, man, this uh, ring isn't as big as, that. oh, there's uh, multiple rings here, okay. Uh, let's see here. Is that ring catching the water though is what I can't quite tell. We might have to move some of these machines a little bit closer here. Um, I'm gonna sp I'm gonna leave this spun this way. I'm gonna put it right on the back edge of this and let's see what we can do. I've got algae but no water available. All right, tell you what, we're gonna move this and have it uh, be placed center in a platform like this. Let me actually, we're gonna take this down to one platform just to simplify my setup. One platform here. We're gonna set this to be fertilizer. Oh, fertilizer doesn't take water. Why did I think fertilizer was gonna take water? That's sulfur and eggplants. Oh, it's the bacteria that takes water. 
Okay, so I'm gonna want two of these. Let me uh, let me move this over a little bit so that when I reorganize this stuff, it's gonna make sense. And for this one, I'm gonna have it make bacteria. And in order to do that, I'm gonna pull this. Can't deconstruct, we got water in it. All right, I'm gonna pull this over and I'm gonna put it right in this thing if I can jump out of the water here. There we go. Lake water collector. Boom. Now does this thing see water? It does. Okay, doing good. Can I put these back into the lake water collector? I can. Now let's see if this works. Awesome, all right. So if that works, now all I need to do is uh, bring the materials out here to build another one and uh, maybe put a chest out here to make a life easier. So I'm gonna deconstruct this. Ooh, we just unlocked Teeter Tier 5. Also, I'm going to deconstruct these ones that are a little far out. And we're going to move everything in closer to the, uh, whatchamacallit here. All right, so uh, with the meteor storm out of the way, I went ahead and moved these algae collectors to be just all the way around uh, this here now. So you can see I've got plenty of algae coming in. We've got the lake water collector here. So this one's going to be able to start making a bacteria for us on a regular basis which should be awesome. And then I just need the materials for one more of these. We are gonna try and make fertilizer and I'm just gonna bring a uh, chest out here for the time being to put the other components in uh, because I use a ton of uh, fertilizers here and uh, that's gonna make our lives a lot easier. So I'm gonna need a few iron here. I'm just gonna grab a bunch so I can make some more platforms and then I need a two osmium and a super alloy rod. We did also unlock osmium rods, so I made one. Ooh, a new uh, butterfly recipe here. If we come up here, I've got uh, a couple of things that we just unlocked. What did we unlock here? We unlocked heater tier five with biomass. So we'll get back to making those in just a second. I'm really looking forward to this insect rocket. And then we just got a 1000% butterfly. Ooh, what is that gonna take to make? That is a mutagen tier two recipe. So we'll be uh, jumping into that here when we get uh, more mutagen tier two. We're gonna just uh, keep collecting all the things here. But one project at a time, let's get this auto crafting running over here. Uh, I am going to, I know we've got the jet pack and stuff, but for whatever reason, I do also like to just have a uh, foundation path here that we can kind of walk on and before i use up all my materials though let's build the auto crafter right here and this is going to be fertilizer and then i'm going to build a locker storage out here and this is going to be Fertilizer, components, components, oh, I don't have enough room. Stuff. All right, sulfur and, al and uh, eggplants. So uh, let's grab our stuff, get this all finished up, and then we'll take a look at all these uh, new recipes that we're unlocking. My goodness, it's uh, at that point in the game where things are going fast again, which is my favorite part of the game. We're out of sulfur. You know what that means? It means we go to the sulfur teleport, teleport point and we grab as much sulfur as we can. A few of these other resources to keep things moving and right back out here to the lake. I won't lie, I'm almost so lazy. I wanna put a uh, teleporter out here too, but that's just a uh, abuse of uh, electricity. There we go, all right. So with that, this thing is now making fertilizers for us. This is awesome. This thing is making uh, bacteria samples for us, which is also awesome. And that's based on uh, the water filling up here over time. Good deal, good deal. Uh, there we go. I just heard of uh, another ding. I got, must have got an unlock and I missed it. I'm, uh, I'm going to have to go look at the list to figure out what that was. 
before we do that though we've got another uh 450 percent tree to uh pass on here and get that oxygen continuing to tick up so let's swap that in right here and uh, that will uh, get going i can't recall if i've got any more of these that need to be upgraded i should be able to tell by the type of tree but i'm just not that good at it so that's a 400 we just replaced that with a 450 this looks like the other 450 we did based on uh, looking at the plants yep so we're gonna have a lot of these shroom trees uh moving forward so all of the tree spreaders up by the base are either 400 or 450 now um, we'll have to head out to the desert to do the upgrades as we build some more here so we're gonna just uh, take all this stuff back up to the base clean out the old inventory a little bit and uh, jump into what's next all right oh we unlocked drone stations oh i can't wait to play with this uh, before we do the drone station though i want to uh, build this heater tier 5 that we just unlocked and what was this again of the oh thousand percent butterflies that's going to give us a, a double our insect ratings and uh, that was mutagen tier two which we still can't uh, quite build yet if i'm not mistaken yeah we've got to wait a bit to get to that mutagen tier two uh, and i think we used all the mutagen tier two we had on the new tree seeds so we did uh, get a little bit ahead of ourselves on that that's all right uh, heater tier 5 is going to take a bunch of stuff. Before we start that, I'm going to dump the things for my teleporter off right here just so that I've got those set aside. I don't want to lose the ability to build a teleporter uh, by accidentally getting uh, too ahead of myself on these heaters. So we're going to do what we can here. I've got all these iridium rods I've been saving forever. And uh, we've got plenty of explosive powder over here too, if I'm not mistaken. I need one more super alloy rod, which is fine. I should be able to actually uh, construct that right here. There we go. And uh, let's get out here. We're gonna keep putting the furnaces where we had them over on this side. Let's see how big these new ones are typically. Uh, each tier they get oh my goodness a bit bigger so we're gonna put uh, this down right here it's probably a good thing that we cleared some space oh man that is humongous we're gonna probably have some power problems again soon that's all right that's all part of the game oh my goodness look at the size of these things all right let's see what are we getting off of these we're getting 4.53 nano kelvins and 2800 nano well, I don't know what the PA stands for so this is 538 and 35 and this is wow that's a huge difference okay and then that's 280 what are we getting on these yeah so almost half of what we're getting on the dedicated drills from the previous tier on the pressure front as well so that's kind of cool um, what do these things give me if I deconstruct one uh, the iridium rods back and some super alloys so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that just to uh, get these out of the way and we're gonna build another one of these uh, big ones I like to have at least three I shoot for five of all of my buildings seems to be working pretty well for me uh, so we're gonna come in here and start making super alloy rods and I'll dump all of this back into the appropriate containers and just take out what I need, which is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That'll get me to five of these. And then, oh man, I've only got enough super alloys to make uh, three super alloy rods. All right, that's okay, because we have more super alloy back in the cave. So what I can do is we'll place one more of these heaters down to make sure we're still generating uh, plenty of heat. And then we're going to go pick up some more super alloy from our mine. All right, I got enough for one more here of these uh, big tier five heaters, but I'm not going to have enough for the uh, fifth, unfortunately. I think we're going to start stacking them uh, side by side here 
and I don't know if I'd have enough heat or not heat energy for it anyway 360 kilowatts there uh, if we come back and look I think we're already running low on power uh, ba -ba. yep we don't have enough power for that and I don't think I've got enough uh, pulsar quartz to build a, another one of these uh, big reactors oh I guess we do uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go ahead and do that now because if I don't do it now, I won't be able to... Uh... Oh, we're running low on super alloys. We used all of our super alloys literally to make uh, those rods. So we're going to go ahead and craft up a few super alloys real quick. The mine was uh, empty here. We need four super alloys. We'll get our power all fixed up and I'll just uh, set these aside to build in our uh, future here. There we go. I don't want to burn through too many of our base resources, but uh, it was quite handy to have a bunch of base resources sitting around that I could just whip out a few super alloys real quick. One of the things I love about this game is that no matter how far we progress, we're still finding uses for the uh, base resources in the game. It's uh, actually kind of cool that uh, nothing becomes obsolete. You're always uh, reusing, recycling, and uh, continuing to build up here. So uh, looking good, looking good. Um, man, so much is going on. I'm trying to figure out what's next. Drones, that's right. Well, uh, we're uh, not gonna sit and wait around here. We definitely wanna get into uh, drones now. And the plants are gonna have a ways to go. Tier two gas extractors do sound exciting. Mutagen 2 is coming along, which is what I need for the butterflies. So let's go ahead and see what it's going to take to build this uh, drone thing. Oh my goodness, there's our first use of an osmium rod, and we need fusion energy cells, and of course more super alloy rods. Well, let's get to it. The fusion energy cell is going to also take some more super alloy. All right, we've got to... Uh, make a run maybe the mines got some more now otherwise we can craft some i suppose oh yeah look at that we've got uh plenty coming along here not quite enough to make another uh super alloy rod but we should have enough to make the uh fusion energy cell which is uh one of the components we're gonna need there and that leaves me with just needing the super alloy rod now awesome so we've got all the materials now. However, I'm not quite sure where we want to build this thing. So I think we're going to leave you in a little bit of suspense and uh, I'll sort out where this drone station is going to go probably in the beginning of next episode. That's all for today. Ketterk out.